Hi guys, Dustin here, and today we have a very cool looking rifle setup. This is the Wilkes Furioso chassis. We've featured it a little bit before, but before we start talking about it, let's shoot. We have a fire extinguisher that we put a Firebird 65 target on. If you're not familiar with the Firebird 65 targets, well, just go over to TopShotDustin.com. I sell them there. Um, it's a big boom, but without the legality of Hannah Wright and, you know, all that good stuff. So, uh, let's go. <laughs> That's a nice mix. You're never going to start a fire if you put it out at the same time. Oh, I love that cloud. Our sponsor for today's video is Teslong. If you ever wanted to look inside your barrel, whether it be a pistol, rifle, whatever, they make bore scopes that work just for that purpose and they're pretty cool. This one is their 10 inch rigid, it's hooked up to a Wi-Fi box, which means it's streaming and recording to my phone. So we can stick it right inside the suppressor and we can see everything that's going along inside there. Hey look, no baffle strikes. And we can see that savage barrel. And a lot of times you see stuff you did not know is there. I, I saw just how rough the inside of a brand new Savage Barrel was. If you're like, oh, that's just 10 inches, it's not going to reach too long. Well, they have a solution for that, and that is this flexible one right here. This was, you can stick in your range bag, and if you don't want the whole Wi-Fi connection, you can have just an onboard screen, or just plug it into your computer via USB. That's what I was doing earlier, and then I see everything on a big 27-inch monitor. They also have these mirror connections that will fit on the end, and the resolution is quite impressive, because it's really is like an angled microscope that you can see everything you want to see. Prices start at just 45 bucks and you can save 15% when you use code TOPSHOT. So check it out at teslong.com. Now let's go check out this guy. I want to shoot a little bit more, but before we do, we're mainly focusing on the Wooks Furiosa today. Really neat stock with a lot of features, but we have embedded in it a Savage 308. We have AB suppressor on the front, and this is a Zero Tech optic that we're checking out. It's a, a 3x18. Pretty neat, and of course we have our Kofjager Reaper rail. So we can, because we can put M-Lock rails on this Furiosa, we can put in a Reaper rail. So pretty solid. Um, Let's go ahead and shoot a mag load at least. Uh, we're not suppressed, so we don't need ears. We got some targets out at that 100 yard tree and more. Let's send it. <laughs> Another one on the right. Oh yeah, one on the left. And let me see, get the hostage head. Oh yeah, that was some power there. That was our four in that magazine, fun stuff. So besides the beauty and just functionality of this stock, why would you want one over just a stock stock? This looks okay, right? The only thing okay about this one is the color. <laughs> because really a lot of manufacturers, okay, they just throw something together, throw it out the door. That might work for everybody, or it kind of works. And we learn to adjust. But learning to adjust is not ideal. Because consistency is the key to marksmanship. That's what we teach at Marksman Camp the whole time. That's why your proper form is so important. When you throw the scope on this rifle, and it's even as low as it could be, when I throw it up on my shoulder, I am looking directly below it. This is just my natural point of aim, my natural cheek resting, and I see zero sight picture, so I have to come up to about here. So now I'm not solid on my cheek, I'm not high enough to just use my chin, so now I'm floating. So I'm always going to be moving around, I'm always going to be different. So then what do we do? We go get some aftermarket part like this buttstock cheek riser and we're gonna put it here. And then what does it do? It slides all over the place and then it's never good enough. And so then what do we do? We either sell this, which is actually what I'm gonna do, because we have we can get something better. Or you can take that rifle and that, that barrel and receiver out and put it in a good stock. So this Wook stock, it's just like getting a custom stock for yourself, but then it's adjustable for someone else and adjustable when you have a different shooting position. You can change it so it fits you perfectly. Uh, I had one of the guys test it out the other day, and as soon as he threw it up on his shoulder, he's like, oh, wow, that just fits. It fits perfect. We're the same height, same build, and it was just comfortable. And then it's a natural. We put our cheek on that cheek rest. We can see perfectly. So the first adjustability is just the butt stock. We can put spacers here if we want it more, but we have a push button. So we can pull it all the way off if we want, back and forth, whatever we need for, for whatever length of pull that we need to fit ourselves. You have a Picatinny rail down here, so you can put a monopod. I'm gonna put one of those on order. And this, yes, a cutie mount, but then the adjustable cheek piece. Push button up and down, and we can adjust in the rear with the Allen screw, we can adjust this to go forward or back so it fits us perfectly. Today, 
hey, bringing it out here to the range, too long to fit in the box. You know what they did? Push this button on this side, and now the rear stock comes off, and now we can store and have a compact design that way. It fits, oh man, a bunch. There's Remington, Tika, they have some Rugers, of course Savage, different colors as well. So if you don't want black, they Cerakote in several different types. And then the front has all these M-locks. So I had a bipod on here earlier. We have the, the, the uh, tripod on now. A lot of cool stuff that you can do so that it lets you shoot better. If this is too complicated for you and you don't like the uh, new age look, I do. They have two other types of stocks that are even more simple and but still have the wood inlay and all that good stuff. That was enough talking. I want to shoot a little more. So, in true Top Shot Challenge, and if you, I know a lot of you guys are new, so I went Top Shot on History Channel a while back, and one of the big things was shooting a golf ball at 100 yards with 22. You can go look that mess up. So we like shooting golf balls, and there's a couple golf balls left over down there past the 100 yard tree from Marksman Camp. We're gonna see if we can knock one out of the park with this thing. Now, we do have uh, Angel Fire ammo. This is our 168, the leftover. I'm at the last of our leftover from when we shot that tree down. So, all right, I'm gonna go for that top one there. It gone! <laughs> nice. There's one more down below, let's get it. It's gone too! <laughs> that gives me an idea though. Bio 50 Firebird target on a golf ball. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Now here's the disclaimer. It's possible we hit, we go through the Firebird and hit the golf ball and knock it all off without a detonation because they require a solid surface like an anvil to blow. So we're gonna see how this works. Got it! <laughs> Detonation was wimpy because a golf ball doesn't do much. Oh, the smoke mushroom though. We got golf ball, the exploding golf ball. Sweet! So that is our Wooks Furiosa chassis. I think it's awesome. I think it's one of those, uh, what would you call it? Heirlooms. When you put wood on a gun, especially a quality wood, it really just makes it, it seem timeless and like it'll be around from generation to generation this rigid all aluminum just a chassis is going to work in for your accuracy and if you think a stock doesn't matter on accuracy try loosening a bolt and seeing how your groups work then because <laughs> it will improve your accuracy as well so you can check it out over on the website wooks.com we'll leave a link down below because w-o-o-x there that's how you spell it thanks for watching today guys okay i love you bye bye Did you see that? Come on, Nasser! Come on, Nasser! Yeah. I came in like a wrecking ball! Oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah!